Hi, howdy, I'm Monobis, and I disappeared for, I think, half a year? Maybe more than half a year, depending on when I get this video out? Um, but a lot's happened, because the last time I posted a video, it was right before I was to leave for Japan. And I went on my Japan holiday, and no, it was not for half a year, it was for two weeks. <laughs> But a lot happened after I came back. Um, Japan was really fun. I loved it. Everything about it was just stunning. I loved it. Um, but once I got home, my computer essentially blew up, which was a real um, shock for me, to say the least. I, I don't even know which part of it broke, but uh, it was all of it. It was all the important parts. More specifically, it was the one part I wish didn't break, which held all the memory of all of my files, all of my programs that I never backed up, which was everything because I've never backed up anything in my life and that's on me, that's fully on me, but um, it hurt, it hurt a lot. So for Christmas, my mother paid to get my computer a place, which was very nice of her. I was allowed to use it obviously before Christmas. So my computer was fixed, but the memory was gone. I lost every original file, all of my work in progresses. I, I lost all of my comic, I lost all of my recordings that I had saved up so that I could just post once I got back and I I had to start over. And it, I thought I could just, you know, once the computer's there, I re-downloaded everything, I fixed up everything, I got um, my, my tablet working, I, I could get back to drawing, except I couldn't, I guess. Part of me doesn't want to accept it, the fact that I lost everything. Every time I'd pick up a pen to draw something, I'd remember something else that I lost that I'd I'd never posted because I was never good at posting things and it was just another thing and another thing that I and every time it was I, I'd lost another part of my art journey I guess and I guess that was also another part of me that I, I can never recreate I can never get back which put me in a really bad place to, to say the least I tried to recover as much as I could because obviously I, I still have all of the stuff I posted on Tumblr and Twitter and YouTube which which was good um but I had so much stuff that I, I never posted and all of my references for my characters and all of my files of writing and all of my um, uh, lore about worlds that I was building and well to say the least um, an impromptu sense of wonder my comic is uh, I don't think that's coming back anytime soon which which, I, which I've come to terms with I, I don't think it was it, I, I had the next chapter essentially all but uh, done except for the words but I've come to terms with the fact that I, I, I'm not recreating that chapter. I might in the future recreate the entire comic, but I, it's not in the immediate future for sure. And then I had a lot of stuff where I had to deal with um, the government and then I had to deal with, uh, I didn't have to deal with the government. I just had to get a lot of paperwork done and I got diagnosed with a lot of stuff. It, I feel like I'm coming out of the gate with a lot of really bad things that aren't actually that bad. I, I have autism. I just got like the official do diagnosis for that and like ADHD. I've got that so that I could be put on um, meds and it's it's helped me a lot. But um, it doesn't obviously help my depression and the fact that I have been ignoring my sense of loss for everything and how that's affecting me. But I, I go to therapy once a month and I could up that if I really wanted to. But I think once a month is fine for me at this point. Essentially, this channel went on the wayside because I couldn't create anything. I couldn't draw. I couldn't pick up a pen. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of anything. I, I tried to be creative, but obviously with every time I picked up anything to be creative, it was drawing and the sense of loss would come over me that like really it was pointless and I was just like, no. So, and I don't really have any other outlets. Drawing is my calming thing. So when drawing and creating became something that upset me I, I didn't really know what else to do um and then I got when I was putting everything back together in my life I um you know I was on my meds everything was going great and then I got hit by another thing a family tragedy and then I had to deal with all of that and then uh I just feel like everything kind of hit me in the last year the world just didn't seem to want to let me go and have a happy 2024. I feel like I've collected myself enough these days I decided to pick up paint for a bit. I, I hate painting. I've, I've always despised painting. But um, I don't know why. One of my friends was just like, it, parents wanted me to paint something for them and I on, on like a, for an Easter thing. Um, and I went, you know what? The, what? What do I have to lose? And I painted that and I felt pretty good. So I was happy. I, I got really 
a bit too into League of Legends. I was already, I already play League of Legends, but like um, playing it a little too much because I like to limit myself on League of Legends. You know, I was if I was playing like half the day of League of Legends, I just thought it was too much for me. So I'm trying to limit that a bit more and give myself breaks because honestly, I just think it's for me personally, just a bit too much. So I've been trying to limit myself on that, even though very, very easy to get caught up in playing multiple games of that, no matter how awful the uh, other people on the game are. But after I completed the little uh, painting egg project, it took some time, but I went out and I bought some cheap paints and I um, found an old canvas that I never finished when I was in like primary school, no, high school. And uh, I painted over that. I might post about that later on one of my socials, but um, I haven't finished the borders. So once, once that's done, I'll post it because I think it's okay. I thought maybe if I went back to digital art, and uh, instead of doing my usual comic style, because I don't know, it just, it was too much for me. I just kind of went with it and I sketched something out, which is this piece. Just went with it and oh, Jesus Christ, I really should have thought better about the scorpion thing because one, I can't draw scorpions. That's very difficult. I tried my best. And two, I can't look at scorpion images for too long, it turns out, even because for reference, I went and looked for uh, scorpion images and they were very scary to look up up close. Even sketches and like stuff like that, because obviously even a sketch isn't exactly a diagram of a scorpion. But anyway, if anyone knows anything about what the hell this picture is about, no, you don't. Um, I, I won't say a thing about it and I won't hear anything about it. I will not have someone uh, tear apart this picture and my mental health about it. Um, <laughs> like I like some parts of the picture, like I feel like the colors of the person, like the yellow to the bluish gray to the purple is pretty okay. Um, I could have definitely done better colors on the scorpion for sure because you can hardly tell half the stuff and I was kind of winging it half the time because I thought if I just winged most of it I got you know past the sketch it was just uh whatever feels comfy um because I was trying to get back into art you know it wasn't about like the perfection of anything so I was just like let's get into it and um if you can tell um the side program that I downloaded doesn't work the same as the old one that I had I don't know why I don't know if maybe the older version looked different and had all the stuff that I had before but I've lost most of my brushes so I have to recreate those or I don't even know how I've been created them in the first place. I don't know what they are. I don't know how to get that back. So I don't know if anyone knows how to get dots back on it in like a pattern on the side, that would be helpful. But hey, we're looking at the good things. The good things like I am on meds and I'm focusing many hours a day. It turns out that people live very different lives than me. Found that one out the wild way where I took my first ADHD meds and I was like, this is how people live. They can focus. They don't have all this everything inside of them. That was a wild experience and a very enjoyable one since I've been taking them. On lighter notes, I am trying to get back into art. I am trying to get back into, you know, creating again. I'm trying to move away, like move through rather than away from my feelings like of um loss and all of that stuff loss.jpg i'll never be able to hear the word loss without that damn meme in my brain in in all the time since uh since i actually created this picture because honestly refinding half the programs to make a video actually took a lot of time as well and then having the time to record and all that stuff was a lot because i i created this a while ago i have done a few pieces of art i did a couple commissions and i did some twitch stickers for commission and for um my friends for some friends which you should go check out because if you go to Ozzy artemis's channel on twitch he streams whenever he streams i will convince him to stream more if i have to if he ever watches this video i'm talking to you directly in your ears ozzy stream more please <laughs> no i'm joking i don't want to convince you <laughs> i know you're busy um, if you go over to his Twitch channel, you can see in the um, stickers that the, some of those are made by me, which honestly me, really makes me happy and I like that, um, even if I can't accept the compliment for the life of me. <laughs> to sum up the bad, I lost all of my work from years for, since I first got a computer. I've lost all of that. I had tragedies. I had to deal with the government papers. I am still technically dealing with government shit because they are very slow constantly. And I think for the most part, like, no, not going to think I'm going to hope and I'm going to pray or whatever the hell it is. I'm going to hope and I'm going to believe that everything's going to be better and it's going to, I'm going to force it. I'm going to force everything to be better because God damn it, I deserve it. 
So ignore the wildly insane picture that I'm drawing because I'm going to be honest, it's very out of my... It's leaning towards more what I used to draw in high school, um, but yet still with forms of me of the today, where it's very like weirdly artistic, but still somewhat like, Jesus Christ, you need to go to a doctor. I do like the stained glass frog little bit that I did. He's so cute. He's just cute you and i know it takes away from the rest of the picture but in my mind at the time it technically makes sense but also again you don't like i'm not telling people that <laughs> i thought about it when i was drawing it and i was just like am i gonna have to, am I gonna have to explain this one and then i was like no it's art literally uh you can either pick it up and make your own assumptions but i ain't gonna say shit i'm keeping my mouth closed these sealed locked keyed and i have broken the key and melted it down into a nickel you can't have it you won't get that information out of me some weird symbolism in my mind said that i was gonna draw this and it did you can't have it so other than my rambling on um thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time I'm not sure when that'll be because I, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be on back on a schedule of like once a month because I do need to take time to do all these things. And I'm sure it's easier for other people to do once a month. It's drawing once a month, but um, it's it's more about how my heart is feeling about being able to create a full drawing because most of the time it's just been sketches. But I'm going to get back to a place where I'm going to be able to draw once a month and it'll be all right as rain. This is just a rocky road for now. So, see ya! Yeah,